him in the house. Yo, what's called Crazy Nation? It's your boy Espiro the Crazy. You know what it is. I'm back again with another reaction. This is to Tate McRae. I'm gonna be reacting to You Broke Me First and X's, and then. On another day, I'll be doing Exes and um, Greedy because I've heard there's uh, live performances for both of those songs. If there's anything else that you want me to react to by Tate McRae, let me know in the comment section because I've got a lot, I've got a lot of love for it. So yeah, let's get it. Let's go. Maybe you don't like talking too much about yourself But you should have told me that you were thinking about someone else mm. You're drunk at a party or maybe it's just that your car broke down but Your phone's been off for a couple months, so you're calling me now Damn! <laughs> Damn! I like it already <laughs> Yo, y'all know me, I like songwriters And I like when songwriters decide to call people out So I like this Maybe that, maybe that, maybe you don't like talking too much about yourself. But you should have, you should have told me that you were thinking about someone else. You're drunk at a party, or maybe it's just that your car broke down. Your phone's been off a, for a couple of months, so you're calling me now. That's a crazy line. That your phone's been off for a couple of months, so you're calling me now. Like I don't understand how you're meant to ever defend that. That's the worst thing ever because it can take so long for a person and move on from something and actually like recover and become happy when someone tries to come. Yeah. But I know you you like this. When she don't go your way, you need me to fix it. Ooh, I know you you're like this. Like so she know she knows this person down to the core. It's like I know you, you're like this. When shit, when shit don't go your way, you needed me to fix it. Ooh. And like me, I did. Wow. But I've been out of every reason. Now suddenly your eyes can fall it back. Could you tell me where'd you get the nerve? Wow, this is her song? Wow, I've heard this song. I don't know from what, but I know I've heard this song before. Wow, that's interesting. I did not know this was her song. Wow, because I was looking at the chorus. And I'm like, I recognize this chorus from somewhere. I love that line. Now suddenly you're asking for it back. Could you tell me where'd you get the nerve? Ooh, I love how sassy she is. She's a very sassy um singer. I like it. Back. Could you tell me where'd you get the nerve? Yeah, you could say you miss all that we had. But I don't really care how bad it hurts. Nice. Line took a while was in denial when I first heard. <clears throat> took a while was in denial when I first heard that you moved on quicker than I could have ever, you know that hurt. Swear for a while, I'm still my photos to see your name, but now that it's there, I don't really know what to say. Oh, that's a great delivery! Wow, that's nice delivery. I could have ever, you know that hurt. I like the way she hit the say like that. It it's really nice how she built that. That's interesting though. I like this. I like this song a lot. Like that took a took a while took a while was in denial when I first heard. 
that you moved on quicker than I could ever. You know that hurt. I like that. And you know, it's like the message. It's like a, this song is like a message to the person, you know, like to people that have hurt. Like it's obviously it's about this one person, but it's like I love when artists do that. I could ne I could never be in this situation. Like I, I could never imagine hearing a artist writing a top hit about me. Like fuck that. Like that's so scary. But damn, it's real though. And I like the line where she goes, "Swear for a while I would stare at my phone just to see your name." I like that breakdown because you know that happens. That happens to everyone in a relationship or past relationship. There'll be times where you're like waiting for a call, like oh. Or every call that you get, or like core text message, you think that it's that person, and then you get kind of disappointed because it's not them. I like it. But now that it's there, I don't really know what to say. Oh, I love that line. <laughs> oh, that's cold. It's such a cold line. I love it. I know you, you like this. When she don't go your way, you need one thing that I like about this song as well is the production. The production of this song is just as important as the lyrics and her voice. The production tells the story of this song. I love it. is very really Irish. Yeah, it's interesting. This song came out four years ago. Like this is a this is an old song. That's why when I when I heard this, I'm like, I know this song. I've heard this song before. It's interesting. This is a great song. What did you think would happen? What a bridge. I love that. What do you think would happen? I would never let you have it. What did you think? Oh. It reminds me a bit of it reminds me a bit of raw. Like the dark sound, the production, it reminds me of raw. Like it's that type of music. It's very like the beat. Like I said, the beat tells the story just as good as the lyrics. And I love that. I, I love when an artist can do that. It's very strong. Have you ever heard this song, Magic? Like, does this song sound familiar to you? I don't know why I think a K-pop artist has covered this song. Because I swear I've heard this song before and I don't know why. I swear I have. I know this song from somewhere and I don't know why. And it's tripping me out. I, it must have been for like TikToks and something that I've heard this because I know I know I recognize this chorus. The chorus I recognize it from someone. You know what's funny? I was looking at this music video, right? Like a lot of people say, oh, I need to have like a crazy music video, right? 240 million views. From a music video like this, which is just her walking around. That's it. Like there's nothing complex about this music video. I love it. I love that she got 240 million plays off this one song. Dramatic Walking. Not even that, it's the lyrics as well, Majo. Because I reckon a lot of people would look like, oh, what are the lyrics? And it's cool that she has the lyrics on there as well. And plus, it's a really good song. It is a very good song, a great song.
I need to hear a live version of that. Um, in the comment section, if there's anyone that can find a live version of that song, please send it to me because that was incredible. That's a great song. What a solid song to start, you know, to start it off. Um, I loved every bit about that. That's interesting because obviously I knew I knew the chorus. That's the only thing that I knew about this song. But I didn't know that this was this song until I heard it. This should be a lesson to so many new artists. You don't Yes! Yes! Thank you. Thank you. First comment. This should be a lesson to so many new artists. You don't need a highly professional big team for the music video or expensive one to get a song viral. Love to see more artists doing things like that. That's what I'm saying. Like when I noticed how many views this was on, I was like, damn. Because it's such a simple video. <laughs> like it's nothing crazy. It's nothing crazy. The music video is very calm. You know, like I actually really like that. Her voice on Nerve and First. This song hits differently. I can't stop listening to this. The fact that she was 17 and that she wrote this when she was 15 is just amazing. What she wrote this at 15. God damn, bro. <laughs> God damn, bro. What? That's crazy. That's actually insane. Bro, so talented. So talented. Oh, there you go, Majo. Billy co wrote this with her. There you go. Apparently. Is there an acoustic version of this song? I need to hear it. Ooh, she has an acoustic version of this song? Bad. That's my next video. That's all my next video. I'm going to check that out. So, Victoria, Zara, Blake, Harnage, and Tate McRae all wrote this song. But where did they get that from? That Billy co-wrote this with her. Is that true? Did Billy Eilish help her with this song? That's crazy if she did. That's interesting. That's very interesting if that's true. Like, that's pretty cool. To have someone that big. She co-wrote another song on the album, I think. Okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense because I was so confused. I'm like, wait, what? Like, that's crazy. If she knew Billie Eilish at that age. <laughs> at 15. Nah, but shout out to her. She killed this. She killed this, though. This was really nice. I, I actually really liked that song a lot. So, the guy that helped her, uh, who produced this, is a person named Blake Harnage. He works with a lot of other popular artists that I know, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, man, I really like this song. I like this song a lot. So let's hear X's. The cover of this video looks... Yeah. Let's go there. Anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, I've heard bits and pieces of this song. I know that for sure. Let me change my mind up like a surrogami. Oh, I'm sorry. That's crazy. So she's got this, Greedy, and that other song. And I know all three of those songs went viral. I know that for sure because I've heard all three of these songs. Wow, man. She knows how to write. She knows how to write bangers. Like, she knows how to write songs that hit. They hit so hard. That's a crazy line. Kisses to the to the next one who who thinks they can live without me. We make up, then we break up, then they'll swear they'll never call me. <laughs> I, lo I love her songwriting. That's a crazy line. And I still keep their number and their necklace. Kisses to my exes. That's fucking wild. <laughs> this happens every time. I don't make me to be cold, but it's how I get. Uh, 
Dude, what's interesting about her? What I like about Kate the most is how she's able to break down, sing very soulfully, but then she can do the pop sound as well. Like she's like a songwriter that can do like, I don't know, like the Billie Eilish type songwriting, breaking down, like tearing apart like your soul, like that type of stuff, like Olivia Rodrigo type songwriting. But like that type of singing, I mean, but then she can do like the Britney, like Madonna type sound too. Do you know how cool that is? To have to listen to an artist that's able to do both and she's able to do it well. Like at her age, she's still so young, but she kills it. It sounds perfect the way she's doing it. So that just that's just very interesting. I'm very curious who like her role models were growing up because she's very good at writing like doing pop but as well she's able to strip that down and sing r&b as well which is such a nice um combination it's like she's a performer she's a performer she's a performer a great writer a great singer but and a great dancer she can do all of them it's like you know she's destined she's destined to be huge you know that's crazy that's a great line me and all my pride trying to burn down every damn bridge anytime we can and again <laughs> What a pre-chorus. Nice. What a fucking... Wow. That's a great pre-chorus. Like, I've only heard this part. I only heard this part. Let's just say what it... Let's just say... Let's just say it is what it is and it and it and was what it was. And then obviously the chorus. But I love the build up to that part. I'm a wild ride that never stops. I'm a hard case they can't unlock. And I swear I care a lot. Just not enough. And then it hits to let's just say what that's cool. I like that. Dude, she's a great What do you think, Madra? You like this? And she technically raps. She technically raps as well. Oh, dude, this shit, this shit's different. I'm actually curious to listen to an album of hers now. I love that. Say I want to go there, then I want to leave. Make another promise that I can't keep. I don't even know what I want, but that's what you want. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I love this songwriting. It's nice. Wow, breaking it all before it starts, making it all up in my head. Wow. But I just overshare about things I never meant. Wow, wow what a savage. Uh, the songs, the songs as a whole is the perspective of someone with an adolescent attachment attachment style people with this attachment style are avoidant of emotional closeness hence why she cares a lot 
just not enough one tricks yeah thought so i love it i love this this is great this is a great songwriting she's a clever artist seriously she is clever She's such a good performer. The chorus is sick. Dude, I love that she's a savage. Kisses to my exes that I know that know that I did you dirty. Little messed up little selfish. We ain't married. I ain't 30. Wow. Wow. Did you dirty little messed up little selfish? We ain't married. I ain't 30. Yeah, we hooked up then we broke up and I said you really hurt me. But I still got your number and your necklace. Kisses to my exes. She's incredible. Hey, for tea? Dude, she's incredible. Mm, feels somehow too tame. Oh, nice. Tease to the next song. Ooh, what song was that? <laughs> What song was that? That's a great teaser to her next song. Hmm, feels somehow too tame, but the chorus and pre-chorus make it work for me. Yeah, I like it. I like, you know, it's one of those songs. It's, it's just a banger, my dude. That's how I feel like. It's just a song. It's a pop hit. You know what I mean? I feel like she understands how to make this work. I feel like she's one of those artists that she's very clever on understanding how music works. I feel like if we listen to her B sides, is where you find the real tape. In in my opinion, I have a gut feeling when you listen to her other music, like the songs like in her albums and stuff that aren't like pop bangers, is where you find out the real her. This is interesting. She's dope. She's really talented. Good choreography. Um, great, like I said, great songwriting, uh, solid performance. She's got an amazing stage presence, which I'm not surprised. It's scary. It's scary how good she is. That pre-chorus and the chorus, fucking chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. I like it. I really like it. I need to, I need to keep an eye out on more of her music because... I honestly think from what I've heard so far, she's got solid, solid songs. Uh, by the way, that song Billy wrote was on her, was on Tate's first EP and was called Tear Myself Apart. I right, bet, 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 bet. Well, we're going to keep an eye out for that when we react to her first EP. Keep an eye out for that because I will be doing that. I'm going to react to it because I'm interested now. I really like what she's done. This is solid music. I'm excited to listen to more of her music. But yeah, man, shout out, shout out to Tame Gray. This is dope. I reckon she's a very talented writer. I like, I like how exes and greedy, you get more of her confident self. And then You Broke Me First is obviously just like a sad, like a sad song, you know? But I like how you're able to, so far I've seen three different parts of her. And it's intriguing. I'm actually very curious. If there's a acoustic version of X's, let me know. Because I might check that out as well. Because that was interesting. I like both songs. So yeah, that's all I've got to say. So if you like this, give this a thumbs up. Not only that, comment if you want to see more. Subscribe. Remember, keep living a crazy life. And stay blessed. Peace. Later. Peace. <laughs>